students. As Asian mythology is part of curriculum, I am here over discussing the case study on agile testing by one of the leading software industry, Cognizant. So let's begin with the summary. So testing plays an important role in the software development life cycle. Organizations sometimes take on significant risks by ignoring effective testing mechanisms that may cause some poorly functioning software. Risks such as customers' dissatisfaction, competitive threats, product revenue losses, and so on. At the development level, an ignorance and testing can lead to technical project challenges. Some of the challenges are cost overruns, poor estimation, schedule overruns, overlook functionalities, poor developer tester communication, which results in compromising quality. What is exactly an agile testing? Agile testing is a software testing practice that follows the principle of agile software development. Agile development integrates testing into the development process rather than keeping it as a separate and distinct SDLC phase. Agile team uses a whole team approach to bake in quality to the software product. The whole team approach allows the testing team to collaborate actively with the development team helping them identify and transfer issues into an executable specifications that helps in coding. Before the start of testing, the development team's detailed design documents must be approved so that test case creation can start both coding and testing as performed incrementally and iteratively in sprints. What exactly in a sprint is? So it's a set of period, it's a set period of time during which a specific task must be completed and made ready for review. Sprints begin with the planning meeting. During the meeting, the product owner, the development and the testing team agree upon exactly which activities will be accomplished during the sprint. The duration of sprint determined by the Scrum Master, who is the team facilitator. At the end of sprints, the team presents is the team presents its completed work to the product owner. The product owner uses the criteria to either accept or reject the work. Now see the process of agile testing. Developers and tester defines the sprint goal. QA team defines a testing scope that is a testing plan which is validated and approved by the entire team and the client. Development team starts the implementation of module. QA team begins, wor begins work on the test case design and hand it over the development team and project sponsors from the business side to review. QA team then begins testing on the QA environment. When code is ready to test after the end of each sprint, QA works with the development to execute test cases in the development environment in order to identify the early stage defects so the developers can fix them during the next round on the priority basis. This process is then repeated throughout the development process. Automated test cases are run daily throughout the SDLC. Whiteboard stand-up meetings are conducted daily involving members of all the teams associated with the product development support and testing. Some important elements of agile testing includes testers and QA managers as members of the agile team development. Now what is manual testing it's regression? Once the majority of code is completed, that is in the last planned sprint, the manual regression test cycle starts. Code and defects fixes continuously during this phase, but this is to add values to the product. 
pre-production deployment is dependent on the approval of test manager's testing report. The deployment only occurs if the report depicts green status for all application modules. Now, what are the advantages of agile testing? Testing requirements are discussed and refined as a team. The agile process often requires having entry and exit criteria for stories. If you see agile testing ensures that each requirement is well defined and measurable, which allows QA specialists to determine whether the requirement was actually completed or not. QA participants in the big picture requirements right stage thus ensuring that testing estimates aren't overlooked. Autom automatic tests are fully leveraged to implement regression testing. Quality becomes the combined team's responsibility rather than just solely that of the testing team. Let's see the disadvantages. The team may struggle to adapt the changes challenges in estimations and sizing requirements. QA is sometimes prevented from executing the test case for whole team for whole iteration, leaving the team struggling to finish the task, not asking the right questions. So QA may not ask you the right questions at the time of implementation. Addition of new user stories into the current iteration. So how the Cognizant have started with Agile testing? So they have started with daily stand-up meetings, start breaking things into iterations, the Scrum Master, Product Owner and each developer, QA, writer should attend planning meetings. They have ended the iteration with the demos and retrospective. They have integrating continuously and focuses on what is important. So this is the case study reference I've took it from a Cognizant 2020 Insights, the case for agile testing. Thank you.